This is another question where we could arithmetize if we wanted to, and, and I do think it's helpful here. I'll, I'll do the algebra first because I think it's, it's simple enough that you can do it, um, but you might want to arithmetize because there's some changes that could be made to this that make it a little more complicated. Basically, because this is a plus, these parentheses are irrelevant. They don't matter. They're not like we're going to multiply anything. If this were a negative, if this were a minus sign in between these, then we'd have to distribute that negative and that adds complexity and that might be why that you might want to arithmetize on something like this. But because it's a plus, we can ignore the parentheses completely and just kind of combine like terms. So 2x squared and 1x squared is 3x squared. So that gets rid of a and b. Then the 7x isn't going to matter. So I'm going to skip right over to the negative 9 plus 1, negative 9 plus 1 is negative 8, so that gets us choice D, and that's it. That's the whole thing. So that is definitely easiest if you just understand the algebra. If you wanted to arithmetize, like I said, we could pick a number. What I would do is I would start with x equals 0. Uh, it's very easy because it means that anything that has an x is just going to basically disappear. So what we're going to end up with is if x is 0, we're going to end up with 2 times 0 squared is 0 plus 0 minus 9 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. So that's really just, get rid of those zeros, negative 9 plus 1, which is negative 8. And because this, it's 0, the same thing is going to happen in the choices. We're going to be left with only the last term because all of the, the um, other pieces are going to kind of fall away. Now that's good because it gets rid of A and C, both B and D work, and this is a very common thing that happens with arithmetize is, is we pick a number that's really convenient, but it sometimes works with multiple answers, and that's okay. What I would do at that point is I would just, well, you could look at the two versus the three, or you can just pick a new number. So let's pick something like one um, and see if that helps us. So in that case, we'd have uh, the, the exponents um, kind of go away, even though the, the variables don't. So this would be two times one squared plus 1 minus 9 plus 1 squared plus 6 times 1 uh, plus 1. So again, the 1s are going to make things really simple. This is 2 plus 1 minus 9 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So negative 6 plus 8 is 2. And now all I need to do is check choices B and D and see how they play out. So this would be 2 plus 6 minus 8. That's 8 minus 8 is 0. So that's not 2, not what I wanted. But if I do the same thing to D, 3 plus 7 minus 8, 10 minus 8 is 2. And that would prove the answer. Definitely more time consuming to arithmetize, definitely. But if you're trying to get better at the SAT, this might be the kind of question where you arithmetize anyway, just so you can get used to it. You might be very confident with the algebra here, but it might be good to use this as just like some, some arithmetize with training wheels so that when you really need to arithmetize, you understand the strategy. So uh, a lot of the times in my videos, I'm going to do that, where I go through a strategy that might not be efficient in this case, but I think it's worth kind of understanding and, and trying it out on some practice questions yourself so that way when it really matters you have you know built up that muscle you've practiced enough that the arithmetic strategy is really seamless because it absolutely makes a difference on some harder questions